This is how Ivy League admissions offices evaluate your GPA. So let's break down what we mean when we say academics. The three main elements we use in our review process are grades, also known as your transcript, standardized tests, and recommendations. So when the admission officer says we evaluate your grades, what they really mean is your transcript, which is your complete academic record. Not just the grades you've earned, but also the difficulty and quality of the classes you've taken in the context of your high school. And the word context here, guys, is key. Penn explicitly states, we don't compare your school's offerings to those offered down the street or at a school on the other side of the planet. They also go on to elaborate and say, we know every high school is different, so we review your school's profile alongside your transcript to better understand and figure out the types of courses which were available to you. Now, for those of you who don't know, a high school profile is actually a document created by your high school administrators, which provides info about your community curriculum and other academic metrics as well, like test averages in the district. But wait, there's more. Okay, so quick little anecdote. This actually happened to me. During my first year of high school, my grades were really not that great. But then I took more and more challenging courses during my junior and senior year, and my GPA actually improved a ton. So my Yale admissions officer, and I know this because I literally looked at my application, this person wrote, he's done really well in a rigorous academic environment, and we think he will do the same here. So really goes to show. It did help that I went to one of the toughest high schools in the nation. So doing well there really translated. I really hope that helped. I'm Kevin Zensei. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and follow for more tips.